All praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great milestone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom, meaning peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Now, that's the main scripture I'm going to base this lesson on. You know, it's just going to be a, a speaking, with, you know, biblical speaking, that is. I'm not. I'm driving, obviously, as you can hear, so I'm not going to be able to grab too many scriptures. But Lord willing, I'm able to make reference. You, know, you can look them up, highlight them, and go over them you know, in in the totality as they are meant to be read. You know? So striving for the truth unto death, and now for many, many of the elect, you know, it talks about how you will be tried. You know, how you will be tried. You'll be even cast into prison for ten days, and the scripture says what. Be thou faithful unto death, yeah, and the Lord yeah, will ultimately grant you that reward. If you read, so that you know, Revelation two and ten, I believe it is, that makes reference to the ten-day yeah, prison sentence, for lack of a better term, which you know, it doesn't. It, that just represents a time frame. You know, you could be in there for nine days, you could be in there for eleven. So don't be getting to ten days and think, oh no, you know, you start bugging out and losing faith because the scripture said exactly ten. You know, it's not dealing with, uh, it's not being specific in that. You know, that's just a, an amount of time. So if you if you get yeah, put in prison, jail for the truth's sake, and it's only for a week, yeah, don't be thinking that that wasn't of the Lord. You know, the trials are going to come to to each brother, you know, in, in their own sort of manner. Yeah, not everyone's going to be put, you know, in prison. But it also speaks about how there's some that will be beheaded. Okay, beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. And now you have that term um, martyr, you know, that's used in many, you know, many contexts. What does martyr truly mean? It goes back to a Greek word. And that Greek word is the Hebrew, sorry. <laughs> that Greek word is the word used in the scriptures for when it talks about witness. You know, so being beheaded for the witness, the term is martyr. That's why the term you know, tends to have a connotation of you know, going through some sort of trial, if you like. It also talks about if you come to serve the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to prepare your soul for temptation. Right in Syrah, Ecclesiasticus 2, the second chapter that is. Right, so it's all good. You know, if you can, you know, you sat at the comfortable, or the, in the comfort of your own home, you're able to get these videos. Maybe you sat down, you've got a little yayan, a little shaka, you know, wine, strong drink, whatever, and you're not going off, you know, to do that, but if you're finding this entertaining, you know, you're sort of laughing at all this, you don't really think, think it's true, it's going to come to pass, it's just something to pass the time, well, then you're in the wrong fucking spirit, man, okay, and you will be, yeah, you will be made known, you know, the Lord will expose them that are not true. You have to be. You have to come into this in sincerity. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. You know, if you've got one foot in this, one foot in the world, you might as well just step out into the world, man. Because that lukewarm spirit, Yahweh I will spit you out of his mouth. Spit you out because you were neither cold nor hot. You didn't care about this, yeah, to the to the fullest degree. But you you didn't want to cast it behind you. Yeah, you were sort of tiptoeing tiptoeing in the truth now you're better off going out into the world and fully just you know, saturating yourself with all manner of bullshit you know, if you're taking this for joke and you might as well do whatever you're doing you might as well do it to your fullest man so if you want to be a fucking demon be a demon be the best demon you can be but if you want to behave as a saint as a saint should because the saints are Israelites but not all Israel are behaving as they should if you want to behave like you should, then do it to the best of your ability. Yeah, we always talk about the best of your ability. For example, keeping the law to the best of your ability. Because the, the laws are not going to save us. We're in this, these chains of darkness. Yeah, this wicked flesh. What Apostle Paul was speaking, and he said, yeah, that which he wants to do, he can't. But that which he doesn't want to do, he does. Because he knows in him, that is in his flesh, dwelleth no good thing. Now Romans the seventh chapter paraphrase. Yeah, so Apostle Paul was understanding 
he was understanding, <laughs> you know, I'll say it like that, he was understanding, and through that understanding, yeah, he taught other men. And it's the faith, right, the faith, what did Yahweh Shai say, it's your faith that's made you whole, for example. It's not, if you're just keeping the law, because you know someone's going to do something to you, then you're not really going to keep it behind closed doors. Right, so if you don't really believe in the Heavenly Father, and if you don't believe in His only begotten Son, there's no incentive for you to keep it. Understand? So that's why it's, that's why it's faith, faith-based Israelites. And you have some, some people that will call us that as a, meant to, a, a, a an attempt a pejorative, you know, derogatory, a rude, you know, an unkind word against us. That's not an unkind word. To say faith-based Israelites, then what does that make you, a carnal Israelite? You know, I'd rather be a faith-based Israelite than a carnal Israelite. Now, not that the law is carnal. The law is good if a man use it lawfully. But through the, again, through these chains of darkness, that means that what we're bound by, you know, our captivity is chiefly this flesh. You know, when Yahweh Shai came to, to uh, free the captive, yeah, we're captives under this man, you know, this red devil. However, we're also captive to this flesh. You know, this black, brown devil. You know, we're in a vessel that is contrary to our, our spirit, man. So we're, that's what we're waiting for. That's why we're striving for the truth unto death. You know, we can, we can, we try and keep the law, but if we slip up, we acknowledge that you know Yahweh Shai is there to cover his elect, and there's no charge that can be laid against the, the elect of the, the Most High. So that's what we we hope to be, and that's why we make, try to make our calling and election sure. You know, Salakia. That's why we make our calling and election sure. You know, we want to be of that number. We want we believe that the covering will you know, cover the elect. But now, yeah, you know, the, the the tricky part is just hoping. And praying that we're of the elect, you know. Or everything else, it's already been done. You know, it's already been set up in the heavens. It's already been set up in the spirit. So now, all we need to do is keep our part, yeah, you know, which is the tricky part. You know, keeping that faith until the end, because you can keep it right until five seconds before the destruction. But if you become an apostate, you know, if you denounce that the faith, then you everything you've just done is in vain. Similarly, you know, you can be on fire and then you, you sort of drop it, you think, oh, yo, what else can I get into? Right before the end, then everything's in vain. So, you know, you need to be fully, fully on fire with your lamps you know, on fire, gird, gird about, you know, with understanding, with faith, which is the main thing. Yeah, you know, so i got to get back, but I pray it's been edifying. Your know, next video, Lord willing, shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha, Kudash.